What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today's lesson is today we got a truck right here that's down. Well, actually, it's not down. So uh, I already done took the fuel line off and because that's what's blown on it. So now I got to put a fuel line on it. So that's what we're going to do right now after these messages. All right, here we go. Today's lesson is we're going to put this fuel line on right here and we're going to feed it from this end right here all the way back up to this top right here so as of right now this is the fair line and we're gonna go ahead and put this on because i got other projects i need to do for this truck right here i didn't have enough time to go and get a tire fixed on it so let's walk back this way because i have to put a tire on here so I don't think there ain't nothing wrong with it. I think it's more just, just blew out the rim. Then again, it could be something wrong with it. So either way it go, I got to go and get another tie. <sighs> I had to trace down a lot of parts for this thing. And this is plum ridiculous. So let me set the camera up, man. Let's get to shooting. All right, so here the fear line is. So I don't want to need you. Yeah. All right, so now I got the line already on. I had to use two hands, plus I had my camera just sitting right there. So I just can't, I ain't got three hands. So I'm doing the best I could. So I'm just going to go over and show you what I did. As you can see the line right here, it's going right up in there. So let me turn the camera around. Let me show you what I did. So on the cat engine, if you got a cat engine, 3406E is what this engine is. This part right here is the fear line. This part right here, going all the way down into that right there. That's the fear line. So I got it traced all the way up here, zip tied it there. All the way up here, zip tied it there, zip tied it there, zip tied it there, zip tied it there. And it goes right on top of that right there. So now I got a new line already on. And this right here, I thought it was interesting. So I put that on there, keep it from rubbing. Cause on the other line right there, that's where it was rubbing at, as you can see right here. It's got an indention in it right there. So that way I can uh, just let it be rubbing, where it won't be rubbing against the block right there. I know some of y'all gonna say it's gonna rub on here too, but I will. I don't think it'll do much damage up here than it would down there. Is the reason why I got this. So now the only thing we need to do is uh, put the cooling hose back on it to cross over. See, I had to take it off in order to get to that top, that top hose. So yeah, I done lost a very smart coolant, but I got some more. Um, it's, let me put this on. up in there. I can't see. Uh, let me get up here.
I'm just going to put a wrench on this one and this one. Sixteen go. So even though I put a wrench on this right here, you don't want to over tighten these, these type of bands, because on the inside it has an auger light and it, and these threads right here, it brings it in and it tightens the band up. So if you over tighten this right here, then you're going to end up breaking it. So which means you got to go and get another one. So now that we're done here, now I need to put some coolant in it and let it run. All right, now I got the coolant in it, <clears throat> which is I didn't see. I'm picking up my tools. I always got tools and stuff on the ground. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank it up and let it run. Let me clamp this filter, this air filter back. Cause after a while, this right here gonna need blowing out. I could do it right now, but uh, I ain't got to. So let's crank up and just let it run for a minute. Probably have to bleed the line. I don't know. Let me see. Maybe not. <laughs> One thing is another. Always something, you know. 